everybody. We caught a train. Where did the train catch us? Alberta, just around the corner from where I'm gonna drop off the rest of these loaders. And then I gotta go right around the corner. So I slept right in the same area. It's just like bing, bang, boom, just sort of bouncing around. We'll be reloaded and on our way home in no time. I like this when my reload is less than half a mile away from my last drop. That is neat. Steel, that's what we got. Lots of steel. It's not that heavy. We have them lined up single file. It's just easier to get them tied down that way. Because up here we have them side by side, but I had to put boards across so that there was even pressure on both sides of both pallets, right? Otherwise you you don't want them to start sliding together or something in the center, even though they're banded. Some wood over there, so it's just easier for the rest of the trailer. Loaded like this, and we're ready to go. So this steel is going to Ile de Chaine, Manitoba. Ile de Chaine, Manitoba. Island of Oaks. Oh, hey, and yesterday I got my uh, LEDs installed under here that I got from my mother-in-law for my birthday. I believe we got another one up there. And we got another one under there and another one on the passenger side there. And then this is the control here. I can change their colors. Look at this. The red, green, blue, white, orange, yellow, cyan, purple. I can make a change. I have a party in here. So we'll be able to sync it to music too. I'm not too sure how that works yet, but. I just, I'm just gonna keep it on the blue. Came up on a convoy of oversized loads here. And you got the tail truck not letting me get by, so there must be a bridge or something coming where the load ahead is gonna need both lanes. Once it's safe to pass, he'll move into the right lane and then I'll be able to get by. These are some big contraptions up ahead here. There we go, he's moving aside on the uphill, of course. Now I won't be able to catch him.
heavy right now, so it's hard for me to get any momentum. There we go. Look at that. Must be something for the oil fields. And there's one more ahead. Even more wide than this one. so far on the shoulder. Oh, he's running across the road here, jaywalking. His truck's almost tipping over over there. Are you going to Timmy? Where are you going? He's walking over to Tim's, isn't he? People will do crazy things to go to Tim's. Oh, we got another pedestrian here walking right beside the lane of traffic. Come on, bud. I'd get on the gravel. What are you doing right, right on the lane of traffic? Where's he going? There's nothing out this way. Ah! Some people, you know, some people. I would never walk that close to a lane of traffic. First of all, you've seen the rocks my tires pick up, right? There's nothing I can do about it. They pick up rocks, and as I'm driving, sometimes they'll fling them out. 
and they'll get caught by my fenders or mud flaps or sometimes they'll go flying out onto the shoulder and if you're walking down the shoulder right beside the road and one happens to let go right at the right time that thing's gonna smoke you in the head but maybe I, I always think of worst case scenario you know I, that's me conservative guy I like to you know stand back and just Think of what could happen and try to prepare for it. And stick with what's tried and true. And you know, staying off the road as a pedestrian is the proven way to stay alive. T tried and tested. Stay off the road. The further off the road, the better. The higher your chances are of living longer. So we got the Saskatchewan scale coming up here. According to my apps, it's been open all day, but it just closed about three minutes ago. We'll see how accurate this app is. I use the Trucker Path app. And on there, when you pass a scale, it'll ask you if the scale's open or closed, and then you tell it that it's closed or open. And then all the other drivers that use the same app can see your report that it's closed. It's a very handy app. I, I like it a lot. It's well made. So just around this corner is the scale lights. If it's open, they'll be flashing. Let's see how accurate this app is. It's closed. That's pretty accurate. So when I pass by here, it asks if it's open or closed. You just tap a button and every other driver that uses it can see that it's closed then. The more people that use the app, the better it is. And there's tons of people. It's the most popular one as far as I know. Very popular. Closed or down.
too heavy to go into the U.S. They would not allow me on their roads. My drive tires right now are maxed out at 17,000 kgs for Canadian weights here in uh, on the prairies. That's 37,500 pounds sitting on the back of my truck. My steers have another 12,000 on them right now. So just my truck without the trailer right now is putting 60,000 pounds, right? Yeah. Just about 60,000 pounds onto the pavement beneath me. And my trailer, it's a tandem axle. It's got about 15,500 kgs on it, which is just over 34,000 pounds. So I'm still well under my illegal weights overall. Last night, I made it to Whitewood, Saskatchewan. It was just a long day of straight prairie driving, as you saw. Not much to see unless you like that kind of thing. I mean, I do. I like it. But I feel like I'm boring you just showing you the same landscape over and over. So sometimes, we just skip over it. If you want me to show it every time, well, you let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know if you love the prairies that much. That trailer's full of all baby cows. Little calves. One of their new home. 
So I had to move one of these skids. This skid right here is about 4,000 pounds. This one's about 35, 3,300 pounds. I had to move one of these 4,000 pound skids to the front because I had too much weight on my trailer. Fortunately, there was a scale like right beside where I loaded. So often shippers don't have scales. And I know it's very expensive to have one and not everyone can have one, but when you're loading up like max weights, it's nice to have a scale nearby at least. Because I went and scaled, I'm like, oh, oh, trailer is way over. The trailer was like 2,000 pounds over, like 1,000 kgs over. Well, I'm going to have to change something. I already had everything tied down and I was ready to go. But I had to go back to the shipper, go back into their yard. They're unstrapped the last pallet and ask them if they can move that one to the front. They put that one up on the step in front of the two that I had there. I went and re well, retied it down, rescaled again, found out I was good. Wasted some time, but... It's better than getting a fine, right, or a ticket. The scales were all closed on the way back, but <laughs> like I was telling you, they were open all day. They just happened to close down just before I got there. <laughs> I think they may have just let me go on through, but you never know when you're that close or even just a little bit over. They'll pull you in for an inspection anyways just to find out, see if you know what you're doing. I'm like This guy's like right at his max, like right there, or like maybe like 100 pounds over. Not a big deal, just 100 pounds, but they'll be like, does this guy know what he's doing or was that just a fluke? I'll pull you in, look at your logs, see if you know what you're doing and everything. But anyways, that didn't happen. And tomorrow is Thursday and I'm gonna be delivering this load tomorrow and I have to hurry to get there. So it's tomorrow already for me. I'm gonna end this vlog here and start tomorrow's vlog. Please, if you don't mind, go down below, see if you're still subscribed or see if you are subscribed. I would really appreciate that, it's free. And come back tomorrow, I release my videos at 4 a.m. Central Time now. If there won't be a vlog released at 4 a.m., I'll let you know through all of my social media. It's all linked down below in my description. Uh, my primary social media is Facebook and Twitter. And then I also have uh, a thread that I just started. I don't know where that's gonna go, but I uh, figured I'd jump on, see what happens to it anyways. And uh, so I got one of those, link is down below. Uh, I'll let you guys know on those platforms if, uh, if it's not gonna be up at 4 a.m. But other than that, you should be able to expect a, a video there. That's 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. That'd be 6 a.m., 5 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Atlantic, and like 2 a.m. Pacific. So when you wake up and have your coffee, there should be some Trucker Josh there waiting for you in your feed. Go and check it out. I'll see you tomorrow.